Blocktober is something that happens on Twitter every October, where level designers share in development screenshots of levels they've worked on at some point during their game development career. And recently, this Blocktober, we got looks of many Apex locations that were scrapped, and one of these areas may have involved mechs slash titans. In Apex's lifetime and previous Blocktobers, lots of developers have shared early development screenshots of certain areas of maps, but we haven't really seen many scrapped areas, nor have we seen them on video. But Thank you to Aaron Stump, who is a level designer at Respawn, who's definitely worth following because he gives us many of these screenshots. We saw a whole video and several scrap point of interests. First of all, there was a scraps point of interest on the map update one of Broken Moon, which was the update in season 21. This point of interest was trialed to kind of be Apex's two fort, being a tower versus tower point of interest. And players had a long line of sight from one building to another, while being able to close the distance on a bridge by weaving in and out. This area would have been really cool, but it was scrapped for unknown reasons. Maybe it didn't fit with the style of the update, or maybe the gameplay just wasn't there. Regardless, this is one of the things that got scrapped, but it isn't the only thing. As he showed us a POI that was scrapped, which was originally going to be placed around the cultivation point of interest. In fact, right here. This area was apparently going to break a lot of rules of Apex, but that's what was fun about it. During development, before it was scrapped, this point of interest was called observatory and it was built into one of the existing mountains and was a cylindrical lab building as you can see from the outside there would have been two zip lines allowing you to get to the top floor while also having one main entrance which was going to be a huge set of double doors and also a sneaky side entrance which i assume would have just been the normal apex doors the building would have also had many windows on the outside so you could see activity on the outside and also if you were getting camped on what i assume to be the bottom floor there was a huge open area with two zip lines leading upwards onto the higher floors so it seems the higher floors would be very good to hold out as you can only enter through zip lines making the enemies fairly vulnerable we could also see another screenshot of the inside which does give us an idea of the style of this point of interest although once again it was scrapped although if you do look at the in progress minimap it does seem like it was pretty far into development only needing the final polish before being scrapped i wonder why this was scrapped and if it was something to do with it maybe not fitting the scope or style of season 21 but finally, we have another scrapped area that Aaron showed us, and this time it's in video form. And this point of interest that was scrapped has a fair bit of lore, and it looks absolutely huge. This point of interest was called Quarry, and it was prototyped in about a week. We do know it made it a bit further than just a prototyping stage, as it was clear there were playtests on this map, with one of the old QA testers at Respawn replying, I miss this POI so much. So it clearly was tested to some degree. Now, you may notice in this video, this point of interest doesn't seem to be on an identifiable map. The area around the point of interest has nothing recognizable, and it just looks like it's in a big test scape. But it does seem likely that this point of interest was originally going to be for Broken Moon before it was scrapped, as the lore of this point of interest is this was going to be a quarry, and around it there would be mechs walking around harvesting ferro fluid. The gimmick of this point of interest was extreme verticality, and you can see this in many aspects of the video. There are several times Times where the developer manages to drop through this point of interest from the top straight to the bottom so this would have been a very cheeky poi for flanking enemies also there were a few more cheeky things in this point of interest like entrances into the building that can only be entered through if you slide or crouch under them it does seem like the point of interest was going to be a lot more than the building because then the developer leaves the building and we can see these conveyor belts that lead towards the main building and also pretty far away from the building these giant saws which are clearly for cutting rock away and then harvesting ferrofluid it seems like these conveyor belts and saws were just big and probably intended to be used by mechs only. Maybe the mech lifts the rock onto these conveyor belts. And also, I want to say something. This game is set in the Titanfall universe, and apparently there's mechs mining. This makes me think maybe the mechs were just repurposed titans from the war, repurposed to mine rock. This would be a pretty cool lore thing, and also it would bring titans into Apex in some way. I'm not gonna lie, if this theory is true, I bet the developers say mechs just to not say the T word, because if he says the T word, people will go crazy 
crazy. They love Titans. We can see this developer test map is pretty big, and I'm not sure how much of the map around the point of interest is part of it. I would imagine this map acts as a little bit of a playground where the developer can concept a load of levels and just check how they play before he potentially pitches them to the team. As in the distance, you can see loads of floating buildings which have clearly just been made to check if they play well. I mean, even this thing here looks like that tunnel from Humbert Labs on District. So maybe it was an early test for that. Also, you may notice in this map as well, there's ships in the sky for some reason. I guess that's just a flare he added for a bit of fun. I don't think it means anything. And also, it seems there are several floating islands in the sky. And one of them may be Olympus because it has a giant hole through the middle. This is probably just testing gameplay flow stuff. And maybe it was even testing if it was possible to make this Olympus teaser from a few months ago use the actual Olympus model rather than just using a 2D image plastered in the sky. Or maybe the teleport and Olympus teaser was teasing a map change we never got. Maybe Olympus will be an accessible area of one of the maps or something. This was a thing Respawn were originally going to do back in Season 6, where they planned to have the Elysium point of interest from Olympus join onto Kings Canyon temporarily as a map expansion. So maybe Respawn were testing this again by adding a bit of Olympus to say Broken Moon, just like off the side somewhere. I don't know, it's cool to theorise about, especially because this Olympus teaser pretty much went nowhere. It never really made sense with Ultra law. It has nothing to do with her. Why was this even a law point and a teaser in the first place? Respawn have done nothing with it, but maybe this can give us some sort of idea. It's really cool to see in development stuff like this because you may remember back when the big Apex leak happened back in March of 2022, we saw some in-development Apex maps and they looked a lot like this. So it's nice to see them not through a leak format. But out of these three points of interest, which is your favourite? And subscribe to keep updated.